in the short term. There is nothing, not one thing, guys, that tells me that Jasmine is bullish in the short term. We have very clear downtrend. I mean, look at this right here, guys. So Jasmine needs to prove to me that it's actually no longer bearish in the short term. And that is going to take some time. And I'm going to show you exactly, you know, what Jasmine is going to have to do. Yeah, it's going to have to do in order to prove to us that it's actually not bearish short term. So because this is a bearish market in the short term, my targets remains this entire range. All right, I am going to go from 20. Actually, I'm going to go from 21 all the way up to 20, uh, all the way up to 29. All the way up to where we are right now. This entire range remains my target. Right? You can be more specific if you want to. You know, you can say 28. This is 28. Uh, you can say 27. Uh, 28 is right, right up here. Sorry. This is 27. You can say 25. All right. You can say, you know, 23. You can say... 21 right here. Those are your local targets. But what I like to focus on is this entire range. And the reason is because like you don't actually know uh like you don't actually know if if we are going to stop right here, if we are going to stop right here, if we are going to stop right here or if we are going to stop down here. So it makes a lot of more sense to look at the entire range. Now does Jasmine have to come all the way down and hit these targets? Of course not. Jasmine doesn't have to do anything. It doesn't have to do any of the stuff that, that we're talking about here. Right? There is no certainty in you know, technical analysis. This is a game of probabilities. Right? This is a game of probabilities, guys. But based on probabilities, you know, the question is, do we have a higher probability of you know hitting these targets or a higher probability of you know going up in a sustainable uptrend and i'll say you know the higher probability is with the price continuing to go down and hitting these targets and the reason you know i'm putting the highest probability to the price continuing to go down is simply because the trend is very clear. You have a downtrend. Now, the trend is your friend. It's not just your friend, guys. It's actually your best friend. So if you approach the market from a neutral perspective, like if you, you know, if you don't have any bias, then you can clearly see what is actually happening. Like if you want to learn technical analysis, you know, if you want to get better at you know, investing your capital, if you want to get better at you know, investing in the cryptocurrency market and actually making money from the market, then you have to approach the market from a neutral perspective. You can't be you know, someone that's only interested in the price going up or price going down. Right? Just look at the market. What do you see? Do you see a bullish market or do you see a bearish market? It's, it's that simple, guys. It's really that simple. Now, for you long-term holders, there is nothing to fear right here. Like, this is not something that should have you, you know, get out of your position because this is a short-term pullback, right? This is a short-term pullback because when we zoom out and we've talked about this and we look at this weekly, like, this is a bullish jasmine. Right. If you look at this weekly time frame, there is nothing not to like about this weekly chart. It's very clear. We have an uptrend, higher highs and higher lows. Right? You want to have an investment that looks like this. This is when you know that you are actually you know, making money from the market. If you go to the monthly, you have exactly the same thing. There is nothing to worry about long term. But short term, there's a lot of stuff to worry about. There is a lot of stuff to worry about. And that is how we end up with a 35% drop. That is how we end up 
with a 45% drop during this period right here. All right. So that is Jasmine, guys. Just want to make sure you guys are, you know, looking at exactly what, what I'm looking at. Uh, make sure you guys understand, you know, my outlook on Jasmine in the short term. Uh, very bearish in the short term. If anyone is telling you otherwise, uh, stay away from them. Stay away from them. I told you guys that this thing was going to crash. Not crash. But this thing was going to pull back into the 20s. And this is exactly where we are right now. If you're a long-term holder, yeah, don't worry about that. You know, focus on those long-term targets. My targets remains 20 to 30 cents. I've been talking about 20 to 30 cents when most of you were not even in Jasmine. <laughs> well, most of you probably didn't know what Jasmine was. I was talking about 20 to 30 cents, right? My average price, guys, and this is not to brag. It's just, it's just to show you that, yo, when I talk about these projects, I think I know what I'm talking about because I am literally day one. Like, my average price is somewhere around here. And I haven't sold a single Jasmine, right? I have not sold a single Jasmine. That's because I'm only interested in the long-term outlook of this token. But just because I'm only interested in the long-term outlook of this token, you know, it doesn't mean that I can't talk about you know, the short-term bearishness. I talk about all of it. Talk about all of it, guys. So anyways, chat, make sure you are subscribing. Uh, make sure that you are subscribing. Very, very important, guys. Helps with the YouTube algorithm. All right, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. Uh, some of you, you don't want to subscribe because you know, I'm putting out some bearish content on Jasmine, which is perfectly fine. Uh, if you can't look at the market realistically, and if you can't look at the market from an honest place, then uh, yeah, I mean, I don't want your subs, you know. I, I don't want to be that person that only screams bullish, bullish, bullish when something is actually bearish. That is not, yeah, that doesn't, it's just, that's not, my, that's not, you know, within my nature, guys. I, I, don't, I don't operate that way. So anyways, anyways, anyways. Uh, hit the like button. Make sure you guys are subscribing. Yo, we got 60 people on this live stream. We got 60 people, guys. Uh, smash that like button. Anyways, let's talk about uh, what Jasmine needs to do to, you know, to look bullish. Well, I'm just going to keep it simple for you guys. If I'm on the daily time frame, a bullish Jasmine is Jasmine above four cents. You know, we got to get above four cents, guys. Especially, you know, first, we got to get above 38. So this is a weekly lower high. You know, we need to break above this. And that's a big move right there. So we first need about, yeah, we need about a 30% move. You know, break above this weekly high. And uh, uh, this was a, a lower high, not a lower low, a lower high. We need to break above that. And when we do get a pullback, like right now, it's kind of hard to, to know where the lows are. So let's pretend these are the lows. Uh, if we do come back, we cannot take out these lows. So as long as we get something that looks kind of like this, so we do something that looks like this, then this is a bullish jasmine, all right? Right here, that would be a bullish jasmine. In fact, you know, this would be a head and shoulders pattern. You have your left shoulder, you have your right shoulder, and this would be the neck. Uh, this would be the head, excuse me, and this would be the neck line right here. All right. But, anyways, uh, excuse me, the neck line right here. Uh, anyways, guys, that's what Jasmine is going to have to do. If you go to the four hour, uh, some of you guys, you know, you got fooled by this move right here. Again, forget about price going up and down. Focus more on the trend. Because if you look at what happened you know, right after this move, yo, we ended up dumping. Right? We gave back the entire gains, guys. Right? Gave all of them back. And during this move right here, this is when I got these comments. This is when I got these comments right here. Jasmine goes up 13%. Total clown. I'm like, yo, are you serious? Do you know what you're talking about? So imagine that person, all right, imagine this person with this comment, all right, looking at Jasmine right now, 
right? So who's a clown right now? Is it me that was looking at Jasmine and I saw exactly what was happening? Or guys, learn technical analysis, man. It's going to be, trust me, it's going to change your, your entire you know, investing so, uh, philosophy. Learn technical analysis. You, got, you can do this by yourself. Listen, the beauty about you know, this right here is that we're not trying to be you know, 100% accurate all the time. That is not what we're trying to be. But what we are trying to do is just really look at the market and you know, interpret what's actually going on. Sometimes, you know, your interpretation is just, you know, it's way off. You know, it happens to, you know, to the very best, right? Sometimes your interpretation of the market is way off and it's perfectly fine. It's just like in investing, you don't win 100% all the time. You know, you are going to take some losses. And if you're not prepared to take some losses, then this is not the game that you want to play, guys. If you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. It is that simple. But you look at Jasmine right now, you know, we are down 13. Uh, I mean, we are down 35% from, you know, these high right here. And we have gave back these, this entire move. All right, if you go from the top all the way down to where we are, this is a 23% drop. 